Hey everybody, it's Missy again. Thanks for joining me today. I am back with my fourth and final layout for my guest design position over at Pretty Little Studio. And I've already got a cut file going here. I'll talk about that in just a second. But I wanted to talk about what I'm going to use from Pretty Little Studio. And this is the 6x6 six six paper collection of You and Me Love Story. And the colors are just gorgeous. They're very rich and deep. Lots of pinks, teals, and golden yellows. And I'll talk about my picture in a second as well. And this collection is fun because there are almost every kind of shape represented. You've got hearts, you've got stripes, there's some checks, there's some text print, florals, basically a little bit of everything. And I think that is very cool. It's very versatile. And, you know, even though it's called Love Story, You and Me Love Story, clearly you can use it for a ton of things. And so I have one 8x8 paper here with these gorgeous watercolor hearts. And I'm just kind of going to go through all these papers and pick and choose pieces of each one and back these hearts with it. And this is something I've done a gazillion times. And I know many of you have too. Backing a cut file with pattern paper. It is a go-to design technique that is always fun. It always looks good. And you can really get a lot of color and pattern on your paper because you're using a lot of it in small doses. So that paper with the hearts that I just cut there, if you were to use the entire thing on your paper, it would be very busy. But since I just cut a little piece of it, I still get the effect of it, but it's just a smaller piece. And so it's not going to be overwhelming once I get all these other patterns behind the hearts. And so this cut file, I believe it is a Wilna Furstenberg cut file from a few years ago. And I believe it was on two peas in a bucket. I think that's where I got it, but I've had it for a while and I, Honestly, I think I may have already used it once when I first got it, but um, I've had it and saved it and just decided to pull it out of the archives and use it today. And I'm going to put my picture up on the upper left above the word love because I don't want to cover that up. And uh, I like how that's going to look. The picture is going to kind of go at an angle and I want the picture on the left side of the page because she's looking to the right. And whenever someone's head is turned a certain direction in a picture, I like to put them on the opposite side of the layout because it looks like she's looking across the page. Because when she's looking on the other side, if she was looking, you know, over to the right, if I put her on the right and she's looking off the page, I always think, what is she looking at? I know that's crazy, but at least when she's on the left, it looks like she's looking across the design. So anyway, <laughs> that's my thought process. I know that's crazy, but that's just how I think. So I got all those hearts covered in and I think it looks super pretty with all of those colors and different patterns. And now I'm going to come in and jazz up my background and I have not added any gesso or anything like that. I didn't want to go too crazy with the wet mediums here. I pulled out some of my shimmers and I'm just coordinating colors that are in the papers. I've got some shimmery yellowy gold. I'm going to use some pinks and some teals. I know this comes as a big shock since these are the top three colors that I tend to use all the time and uh, I can't help it. I just love those colors and so I'm going to just play around with the mixed media here and just go back and forth with the different colors and the packaging technique. I'm just trying to get a watercolor wash of pretty colors back there that you can see through the open spots of the cup file. And my picture is super cute. I love it. It's of my little page from a few years ago and she's at school getting ready to do her hippotherapy session. And even though it's hippotherapy, you may not have heard of that. It's actually horseback riding therapy. It's part of her speech therapy and her occupational therapy. And she absolutely loves it. Both my girls get to do this. And in this picture, she uh, is about to get on the horse. And you can kind of see the horse sticking his head in there on the left of the picture. And she's being shy because she doesn't actually want to pet the horse. She just wants to ride him. And so they're trying to get her to touch him and work on her sensory issues. And she just decided to suck her thumb and look the other direction. And <laughs> she just looks cute sucking her thumb and uh, she doesn't do it much anymore but she has her little riding helmet on and she just looks so tiny on top of this big horse but just thought it was a cute picture so I wanted to document that. 
So I'm still going with my sprays here and I just keep bringing the cut file back and forth to look at it and see where I am with the background because if you can't see what I'm doing, I wanna know this. And so I wanna make sure that I have enough color back there where you can still see everything. And these are all shimmers. This is Well Blew Me Down. The pink is Pink Stilettos, and the golden yellow is called Glorious Day. And if you don't use a lot of wet stuff like I'm doing here, you don't necessarily have to use gesso. Like I said, I didn't put any gesso on this because I, I knew I wasn't going to do a lot of blending. I just wanted splotches of color, and it doesn't take a lot of the sprays to do that. And so I wasn't really fearful of my paper doing a lot of warping or or ripping or anything like that and as you can see it's staying pretty flat here so before I start adhering anything down I'm gonna come in with some thread for layering and texture and color and I'm using the same three colors pink yellow and teal I think I use pink right now I'm just on the yellow and the teal and I want to give this uh, cut file some dimension so I pull out some of my fun foam adhesive here and just cut it up and flip it over and so now it's going to have a little bit of depth it's going to create a little bit of shadowing yeah there's my pink thread i knew i used it and um, that foam adhesive has been great i don't know who first started doing that on youtube but thank you to whoever whoever it was that i saw doing that because it's a lot cheaper and uh easier to use than picking off those little tiny round foam dots because you can buy this at Walmart for five bucks and you get like 25 or 30 40 sheets depending on the size of the package you get for you know five bucks it's pretty cheap and it's sticky on one side so you can't beat that so yeah I'm gonna glue all this down you can see my thread kind of coming out of different areas there and now I'm gonna work on some embellishing and I've got several things from the same collection here. I'm going to add a little bit of tissue paper behind my picture just to give it a little bit of a messy border that's very subtle and it just kind of helps separate the picture from the background. I always want my pictures to stand out. I never want the actual design of my page to overpower my picture because I always want the picture to be visible and so I know it's not a a, a very dark border or anything like that but it kind of sets the photo off just a little bit more and most of my pictures always have a white border around them and that's just how my photo printer software does it and I'm okay with that okay same collection you and me this is a package of flare they're all different colors with the hearts I'm gonna pull in a couple of clear stickers from the here comes the Sun collection and that one says you can do it this was kind of a motivational I guess type layout because you know she's come a long way with her her therapy and so I thought that you can do it was really cute and appropriate and uh, so I added that in and these are some scripty stickers I'm gonna wind up using that suite that I stuck over there to the side and I wanted to use some of these heart flare and so I just play around different spots of where they could go and look okay this is a little cut apart phrase sheet from the same collection and I'm going to use heartwarming and mainly because it is a heartwarming picture and but also I like the color I like the pink and so it brings a pop of pink down there to the right lower corner and I'm going to pair that up with the sticker story and they're uh, they look watercolory so pretty it's like it's a teal light blue color And I'm just going to play around with placement of things. You can use little hearts from the same sticker sheet. And again, that's from Here Comes the Sun. And I've decided I kind of like where everything is, so I'm going to start to glue it all down. And I'm going to tuck that pink heart flare right there in the actual cut file underneath, or well, sort of to the right of the E. These are some little die cut hearts also from the same collection and they all say different words and phrases on them really cute so i'm going to scatter a couple of those around
Got a little too much glue on that one. And as I kept looking at it, I decided that I needed a third flare because I've got the two and I felt like I needed another one in the upper left above the photo. And so I am going to come in with that. I, I may do that off camera, but uh, I felt like sometimes my brain is, is thinking about the rule of thirds where you need three of something. Sometimes I do that. Sometimes I don't. It just depends on the collection. It depends on the layout and just the overall design. But on this one, I felt like it called for it since I had the two. I felt like it needed another one. So I'm going to add in my journaling here. And yeah, oh, off camera. There I did. I added the third flare and another die cut and a couple of little phrase stickers. So that's the final layout. I had a blast making this. It was super fun. I had so much fun being a guest designer. Please check out pretty little studio. They have a ton of gorgeous collections, uh, lots of new ones coming. Very, very pretty stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, series of four videos that I did with all of these beautiful products. Let me know if you have any questions about anything that I did, and I will see you guys in the next video very soon. Thanks for watching and have a great day.